Indigenous cultural intellectual property is a collective knowledge. When you look at the role of Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander art, that's within everything we do. And it really counteracts the Western framework of copyright that looks at an individual kind of perspective. I am so frustrated with people who think they can just take the very heart of our creativity and exploit it. We need to look at ways of documenting, keeping safe, all those antiquities for our future generations. What is the legacy we are going to leave for our great-great-grandchildren? Well, I think the Indigenous Cultural Intellectual Property Rights, or ICIP, is essential in setting up protocols around guiding external parties in their relationship with Aboriginal people. Essentially, it's a way of protecting First Nations stories, language, culture, visual expression, and traditional knowledge, and making sure that those stories, knowledge, symbols, and everything can't be used in ways that aren't approved by you and your communities. ICIP works in that way where any stuff that we use, perform and we create from a cultural perspective belongs to us and we get to choose how to tell our stories, how to represent ourselves. It's not making the knowledge imprisoned, it's actually enlarging our role as custodians and caretakers of cultural knowledge. When we do a film like The Drover's Wife, we shoot that down in the Monaro Valley and you're dealing with the Narigo mob because we're filming on country. We talk to those elders about certain mythology or this, that, the other. We get those right permissions, we get those right elders involved, do the right thing, consult. This is what we did, have a look, are you happy? that sort of thing. So it's always that maintenance, it's always staying on top of everything that's to do with ICIP. Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people didn't have a voice. We were seen and not heard. It's only been in the last 20 or 30 years that Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people have a strong agency to tell our own stories from our own perspectives. So the best we can do as individuals as elders is to start those conversations on how are we going to first protect our culture and secondly and mostly of all respect our people and ourselves. <laughs>